Okay, I want to show y'all a project that my students did that was inspired by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. Um, they made, what happened, if you haven't seen it, some of you may have watched this video, but I love watching that channel, but anyways, one of his employees, Tom Tom, had made a mistake and left some keys behind on a recovery, so his punishment was to build a birdhouse without using any measurements, like any measuring devices, squares, levels, anything like that, had to do all the cutting uh, with a grinder. All he could use was a grinder and a um, welder. And he likes to be pretty precise on things, so um, that was his punishments, not to be able to measure. He kind of had to guess at everything. And Matt gave him some measurements to follow. And some of them was pretty, you know, things that I hadn't even heard of. It wasn't just in inches. But anyways, um, I was inspired by that to have my students do something similar here in uh, the welding class. So I'll kind of show you what cr criteria I gave them and then the end results. What they had to build was a house out of metal that was 5.75 inches high, the walls 6.25 wide in the front and seven inches long. Uh, I didn't really specify a roof angle, but it did have, have, have to have a roof, uh, an A roof. Then what I was judging them on was how accurately they got to these measurements. They could embellish upon the houses any way they want to, make them fancy, uh, plain, it didn't matter. What I was gonna grade was the measurements. Then we, when we went, uh, we was gonna be going to a competition, traveling, and I told whoever won that I would buy their lunch for them that got the closest to the measurements. So I'll show you what the winner was and then what some of the others did um, to kind of make theirs uh, look kind of neat. So this one was the winner as far as dimensions. Um, they was within three quarters of an inch on the total measurements. Um, they come in about three quarters of an inch less total than what the actual measurements would have added up to. And one of the measurements, I can't remember which way, was it was pretty well spot on. They could use anything they wanted to to cut with, but they couldn't use any straight edges, uh, grinders. Well, they could use grinders. They couldn't use any straight edges, measuring tapes, or levels. So they had to guess at their measurements. This one here uh, was the second closest on measurement and made them a church. So what it ended up, he turned it into a church house. This one here almost looks like a, a gingerbread house or the Hansel and Gretel house or something. Uh, pretty neat. I thought it turned out pretty nice. And then this one here, he made him a wraparound uh, porch, put windows and doors, a, a vent up here in a roof or a reef. Got a, a chimney with, looks like it's been laid up with rock, but that's actually uh, nuts that's been welded there. Put a front porch on it, got uh, spiral railing it's, it's welding rods that's been wrapped up he uh, twist them up in a drill but uh, I thought that turned out pretty pretty neat but I'm glad I saw that video on Matt's off-road recovery that way that uh, I could have the students do this because they kind of stressed over it, not being able to me measure and use squares and that type thing. But overall, the end results turned out pretty good. Um, I was impressed with them and enjoyed watching them uh, sweat it out while they was trying to do it to see who was going to win. But uh, appreciate y'all watching. If you will, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, we will talk to you later.